Hey everybody, Nick here with Rogue Overland. First thing, thanks for being here. We appreciate you. In this video, I'm gonna take you through our review after two years of use with the Dragonfly Tarps Haku Tarp Awning. One of the two, I don't know, maybe both. We'll talk about it in the video. So as you know, if you've watched many of our videos, we do a lot of more aggressive off-roading and overlanding. Having extra things bolted to the outside of the vehicle can be problematic when you're talking about things catching on trees or tight trails where maybe the truck's leaning uh, up against a rock that you're trying to squeeze by. And so what we wanted to do was find something that would provide us the shade and shelter that we want when we're at camp but not have those shortcomings when we're on the trail. So let's talk about the product itself. First off, made in America, we love it. It's made in Idaho and it's very compact. So you're gonna get, th this is basically one setup right here. What you're gonna get is your tarp slash awning is in the bag here and then in this bag here will be your poles and your, your stakes for spiking it down to the ground, staking it down to the ground. So the poles break out into, there's two poles in this bag and they're just kind of bungeed together and it's just a slide in situation like that. It's long, so if you need to uh, pull vault over something while you're out camping or maybe, maybe spear something, it's, it has that dual use. As you know, if you've watched any of our other review videos, I'm not gonna go through all the details as far as the, the exact fabric that it's made of or, or anything like that. You can go on their website and check all that, that out and I will put the website uh, link in the description below. But uh, yeah, so you're gonna get four of these. They're, they're a lightweight material. And then in the tarp bag, you're gonna get the tarp or awning. And the nice thing is you can customize the colors and also you can put logos on there if you want. So we have our, our Rogue Overland logo on here. The tarp material is waterproof. We've, we've had it in the rain. And the cool thing about the way this works is you have this track here. Let me see if I can get it to where you can see that. You have this track here and basically this, this slides into a, a groove that is adhered to the roof of your vehicle. The straps on, on the sides, there's, there's four straps, have these little loops at the end. So that's gonna hook through there. Then you stake that down to the ground and it is basically like a buckle type system where you can adjust the tension on here for, for the length of the strap that's going down to the stake. And then lastly, a little bit of a bungee material here. And so there's a little bit of play to this. We have had this in, in severe wind and it is it holds up really well. Never had any problems with, with it pulling up out of the ground falling over, blowing away. So it's a really robust design. The craftsmanship is, is phenomenal though. I, I don't even know what their warranty is on these things because it, it hasn't been an issue. The, the bag has held up well to being just thrown around in the truck and bungeed to things. The, the tarp slash awning itself has great. I mean, none of the, the stitching points have failed. None of the grommets for pulls have failed. Everything has just held up really, really well despite us basically abusing the product. It's priceless when you're out on the trail and you're out in the weather and you just need a product to perform. I've touched on it a little bit earlier in the video, but I do want to talk about setup. It's much easier to set this up with two people just basically one person on each side of the tarp, slide it into, into the groove on the vehicle, on the track on the vehicle, basically get your, get your poles up, somebody's holding the poles, stake down the sides, and then pull everything nice and snug. 
You can set it up with one person as well, and Dragonfly has done a video on that. I'll put a link up here. It's gonna be this side or this side. And I'll also put a link down in the description to that video so you can see it. And the other nice thing about the setup with this is you actually have some versatility as to how it's set up. So you can have the poles further towards the front of the tarp, and that's gonna give you a nice open area as far as the view in front of you and, and, and more area with shade. Or you can bring the, t the poles down to the side, and when the poles are down to the side, that's gonna allow the front part of the tarp to actually curve downward, and that's gonna give you more shelter. Next, let's talk about the conditions that we've had the Haku in, and also our thoughts in the application for it. So we've had this in many different conditions, uh, ranging from we were running the Rim, Rim Rocker Trail out in Colorado, and an afternoon storm came through and just dumped on us. Uh, kind of hard to see probably, but it's coming down. And the uh, it's nice and dry under here. Under the uh, Dragonfly tarp. We've also had this tarp out in very windy conditions. We're out here with some family doing some camping and some bow hunting. And I'll tell you what, it has rained all day yesterday and the tarp performed fantastic. The wind kicked up in the middle of the night and it was blowing around. It was enough wind to be shaking the van and I wasn't too sure, but we just left the tarp up to see, hey, how's it gonna do? And uh, it, it's done fantastic. The clouds have cleared out and it's, it's still windy today and the tarp's blowing around, but I set it up yesterday and it, it's secure. It hasn't gone anywhere. So wind, rain, thumbs up. And then of course we're out here in the Southwest and we've had this out in, in, in very hot and sunny days. And as with any shade product, as long as it's blocking the sun, that's great. So it does a great job there with blocking the sun. It's done great. I mean, we've had it in, in pretty much every weather condition you could ask for, except snow. We haven't had it in snow and it is held up phenomenally. So let's talk about thoughts on application for this, for this product, this, this tarp or awning, whatever you want to call it, whatever they're calling it. Um, you know, it's, it's an interesting concept because we've, We've seen many, many awnings out there, okay? What we all will agree an awning is, attached to the side of the vehicle, deploys in some manner, whether it's swinging out or it's, or it's, um, it's rolling out and then being sta uh, staked to the ground. This is really cool because it's not on your vehicle and it's, it's, it's hidden away. You throw it in the back of the truck, you throw it in, in, inside the SUV, and it's not out there causing you any problems when it's, when you're when you're traveling but then when you need shade boom it's deployed it's also very light c compared to many of the awnings on the market so i think the application for this is going to be either someone who's who is conscious of how much weight they're putting in their vehicles and we've all seen the the overland rigs that are just loaded up with every piece of of overland flare that they can be loaded up with. And most of the time those vehicles are actually over the capacity that they're supposed to be carrying, which puts a lot of load and strain on your drivetrain and the components of your suspension. The other thing will be somebody like us who is being more aggressive with their, with their wheeling, or maybe somebody in the Pacific Northwest who is going through a lot of trees and and things that are that are trying to grab the vehicle as you're driving by this product in, isn't on the outside of the vehicle so it's not a problem it's not going to grab onto a tree it's not going to get pinned against a rock uh, while you're out rock crawling in the same way that an awning can before i get into the pros and cons of the haku tarp awning I'd like to say if you're enjoying this video and finding it informative, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like outdoor and off-road content. And then if you wanna help support the channel, consider purchasing something through the Amazon links in the description below. Even if you don't buy those particular products, clicking one of those links and then doing your normal shopping 
Uh, it helps us out. We get a small marketing commission and it's no additional charge to you. That just helps us continue to put out great content. Now let's talk about the cons in our experience with the Haku. So first, when we had it in some of those rainy conditions, we were getting some accumulation of water, especially when it was raining really hard in the tarp on top. Nothing that was leaking through, but, but the tarp would start to droop down just a little bit with that water accumulation. We'd just have to push up on the tarp and, and just get the water to come off every 10 or 15 minutes, depending on how hard it was raining. And really at the end of the day, that's gonna be a con with, with pretty much all awnings, every awning that, that we've used anyway. The second thing that, that we, you should consider, and, and you could call it a con, is because it's packed away in the truck, depending on where you put it in, in your vehicle, it's not necessarily the fastest deployment. Setting it up is pretty quick, but you're gonna to have to dig it out of the vehicle to, to take it out, get it out of the bag, and then, and then go ahead and get it set up. So I guess in a race, depending on where it is in the vehicle, it's potentially a little bit slower deployment than a traditional awning that's gonna be attached to the side of the vehicle. And the last thing that we'll consider a con is that you're going to have to have tie down points. So some awnings, if you're familiar, they don't need to have tie down points. Because of the design of, of this product, it does have to have tie down points. There's no way to have this tarp awning deployed without having the sides secured down to something. Now we've secured it down with a, with a water jug before, um, stake it to the ground, tie it off to a tree. So there's, there's lots of options as far as how you can do it. But just keep in mind that this is not a freestanding awning or tarp. Next, let's get into the pros of the Haku. So first and foremost, made in America. So you're supporting small business, American made products, and it's gonna make you sleep better at night. So that's a, that's a pro, that's a huge pro in our, in our opinion. Next, the lightweight compactness of this product really is, is a pro in our opinion. It's anybody who travels with multiple people in their vehicle, whether that's just a significant other or whether that's a significant other and kids or a significant other and dogs, you know that space is at a premium. So the fact that this, this tarp, this awning, just is so compact and so lightweight, that's a pro. You're gonna put less strain on your vehicle and you're gonna have more room when it comes to packing everybody's gear. Another pro for this is the fact that it's customizable. So you have many color options to choose from and you also can add logos or graphics on it that are, that are your personal logos or graphics. So, so that customizability is a pro in our opinion. And then also the versatility of, the pro, of this product. This is basically a universal, if you will, universal attachment. So the track that attaches to the top of the vehicle is, is adhered to the top of the vehicle and you can put it on pretty much any vehicle. Anywhere where you can fit it on the vehicle, that vehicle can, have, can use this tarp functionally. Now, in with that versatility as well is the size that you have, is the fact that you have size options. So you can get a longer tarp if you want to have it attached to the side of the vehicle or you can get a shorter tarp if you need it attached to the back of the vehicle and extending off. If you have a bed rack, you could, for a long bed, you could, you could make it sized for that particular bed rack. So you're having that option of the versatility with the sizing, bigger sizing versus smaller sizing to suit your needs. All right, let's wrap this up. So as you know, if you've been here before, or if this is your first time, let me let you know that all our reviews are based off of our experience so that you can make the best choice for you about a product. We did get a discounted rate on one of the tarps. We have two. We got a discounted rate on one and we purchased one full price. That way there we have one for the Nissan NV3500. I'll put a walk around video of that rig up here. And then one for Onconius, the solid axle swapped Nissan Xterra. I will put a 
walk around video of that rig up here. So at the end of the day, is this tarp for everybody? No, if, if you have issues reaching above your head, if you, if you can't get up to the, to the vehicle, the, the, the top part of the vehicle to slide it in, it's probably not gonna work for you. You're gonna have to look into something, you know, more of an automated type setup most likely. Outside of that, I think this is a tarp that should be highly considered by anybody that's looking to have a lightweight option that's not gonna cause issues on the side of the vehicle when you're traveling through the trails. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Find us on all social media avenues at Rogue Overland, and we'll see you on the trail.